Hello and welcome to the channel. This is Monkey, and today we've got the first episode of the recent Milsim we attended, the Mini Milsim at Simtac Airsoft. This is the second such event we've attended at Simtac in this style, and it's a fantastic change in pace from normal skirmish days. You get a bit more freedom, a bit more hands on, and you get to solve the problems yourself as well. So the theme for this game was the Siege of Mosul. So we were playing the role as the US Special Forces. We were assisting the Peshmerga in retaking the city. We also had secondary objectives of capturing HVTs on the Op4 side, as doing so would give us more intel about the lay of the land and where their headquarters was. However, before we could do anything, we had to make entry into the city. So for the purposes of this game, the city was represented by the compound area of Simtac. This is very well defendable as it's basically closed in on all four sides. There's a few gate points we can get through, but pretty much you've got good angles out around everything. So in this map I've added the perimeter of the site, the red line. The blue marker is our fob, or our intended fob. And the three explosion markers, they show the locations we can enter the site, the three breach points we have. So again, right before the game, we made plans. We had decided that the three breach points weren't really beneficial to us, so we were going to use the top right and bottom right corners and try and make a pension movement into that area and try and get into our fob as fast as possible. However, I have to say, hats off to the Op4 guys. They put up one hell of a fight and made it extremely difficult for us to get to our fob, which meant a lot of walking back and forward to spawn for Paul and myself. So I've cut this footage down to try and tell the story, but without losing too much of the gameplay, so hope you enjoy. Camera straight. Yes. Number coming. Yep, mine. Yeah. So I'll start the video right from the very start. This is really us gearing up to get into position. Alex, We're about to move out in the cars and on foot and walk up to our start location up at the top end of the site. Here, yeah. <laughs> Where's your driver? Where's your driver? Come on, Alex, if you want. Huh? Alright, jump in. Hold on. I hold it. Can you move this floor? Hold on, Jace. And, uh, Jesus Christ. Are you up, Cheers. Right, let's go. Stop walking. No, it's alright. You're alright. You're trying to win, by the way. What? You're trying to win. I am? Yeah. Akeem? Right, let's go, start walking. Get up! Get again. Does the window go down? The glow pumps are squiggly lines on the right-hand side. Oh, yeah, I only found that yesterday. What the fuck? What the fuck? We've got to level up shit this, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. From last time. Okay, I'll, I'll find, I'll I don't know what he meant to have a glow plug, so yeah. Are you filming these guys then, yeah? Yeah. I can hear everybody. At this point I kind of realised that it's basically me and Alex are the only two people on foot. I don't know how you managed to get left behind, but oh well, it was nice to walk anyway before the game. Just hanging off, hanging off, yeah. That would be cool, like. Is he trying to get in and out of this thing? I don't, this kid isn't built for it, like. No. Maybe if you had this, like, you know. Oh, you, you could, you could slouch way forward. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, shit. So it's just you and me falling in the spot. So we can leave bags on there, can't we? Yeah. Huh? We can leave bags on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we leaving that kid on her? I thought we were. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe parked here. Okay. Somewhere around. They're gonna head to the fob. Oh look at you! Your fancy pants, guy. Wonder if you want to sell me this. Twice. Twice. Yeah. Because of our guys are over there. Lovely. I love the smell of it. 
I used to work in a, in a fucking mechanics place, you see, so that's why I love the smell of petrol and stuff. Mm. I love the smell of slowly fading into death. <laughs> Just, you just have to dish this matter. We all know the chair building? Yes. Oh, it's, that's the, weird it's been designated as a mosque. We can't. <laughs> that's we our can't plan, shit on. Right, we just follow these guys in. Don't know what's happening. <laughs> you're, you're we need to know what the shot. plan is before we move, though. I know, we need to know what before we move, say to them. Shoot everybody else and don't get shot yourself. Alright, but watch for civvies, like. Fuck them, too. <laughs> So this is basically the right start of the game that's now, the, so that's their breach point. our team are now moving to the breach point, we're moving back down the path we just drove up, or walked up, down to the front gate of the site, where it's going to be our main entry point. There's a secondary team going in at the breach point on my left hand side here in the video clip, and they're going to try and cause a distraction for us to get in and also try and flank around and pincer the enemy. Blocked that then, that's good. I said we couldn't go through it, but I was just glad it's blocked rather than, you know, yeah, yeah. fucking having to deal with somebody shooting at you from it. <laughs> so at this point now, we've just arrived for the first time at our bridge points. You can see these gates up ahead of me. That's where we have to get through. Another little complication was the gates were locked, so there's a padlock, a really heavy paddle, really heavy chain, threaded through the bars. And we have to get this off first, but again, Doing that make, leaves us exposed to fire. And since we're being stationary, they don't need to actually aim for us. They can just pepper these gates, and we can't get through. So it was a lot of toing and froing and trying to trying to create some sort of space to work from. But it took a long time. Lad, cut down fucking fire and get the gate open. Can you get to the gate? All right, how do you get this gate open? Fuck. Right, I'm going to go for the gate. Oh, hit. Hit! So we're less than five minutes in and already now, Paul and myself are stuck out in the open here bleeding out. There's going to be a bit of a skip in the footage here as we bleed out for five minutes and then go back to respawn and re-enter the game area again about ten minutes later. Yeah. Watch, watch, watch. So the you've got the gate unlocked? Yeah, yeah, we've got the gate unlocked. So in the time I've been away, they've made some progress here. They've actually managed to get the chain out of the gate bars. So now it's just a case of getting the gates open. Okay. I'm going to get them to run up the gate. I'm just going to fucking run up this gate. Just going to run this gate. Right. One. Are you going for two? There you go. So I'm not sure if you can see it in the footage very well, but the chain is actually stuck under the gate. So I basically hmm. ran there full force and hit, hit it so hard, I hit my head at the gate. It was ricochet or not, but. Another good reason to buy a helmet for airsoft. The chain's falling behind the gate, which is in the ass. Is everybody in that corner dead? Um, no. Your guy oh, isn't the, dead. The guy with the stars. The car is behind the skid. Does that just need pushed open? Yep. That door just needs push, doesn't it, we think? Alright, tell me where to move. All in the wall right here, have a look through that, will you? Go now! That's hit it! Hit! And here's Paul doing the exact same trick I did. It's painful watching because I know it's stuck underneath the gate yeah, and I can't say because I'm dead, so I'm hoping that someone arrives me soon and I can pass on the information. No, 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 come on, take the lock no, Can take you lock try to pull yeah. the other one? Instead of pu pushing this one, try to pull okay, that one. You're going to get down the gate away and push the gate over, okay? Oh. Hey, get your arm out. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I got it for you now. Alright. Take it off the way. Move the lock! The fucking. Ooh, shit. 
the chain is actually caught underneath. That's the problem. It's the chain. The chain's under the fucking gate. Yeah. Connor, uh, Scotty, the chain is under the gate. It's, it's jammed on the fucking. There you go. Oh, I didn't want to get in his way. We were shooting. Behind the flanks. There's one guy behind the flanks. The chain stuck right under it. You want to open it? Fergus, the chain stuck under the fence. I can't push it. James. Boy, can you actually move the lock? You need to kick the lock out of the way. Yeah. Here, I'll try go prone. I'll try air. Okay. One, two, three. Good call. Well played. Oh, unlucky. Fuck. Is that one has to walk in the floor? Okay, Toby. So now that the gates are finally open, we can start using this Jeep here as a mobile cover. It's a really good tool in this game because otherwise we have absolutely zero cover behind these pillars. And again, so Paul's being shot and bled out, walking back to spawn. I'm still on my bleed out time, about another minute or two, so just behind Paul. I'm going to fast forward the footage now, just to whenever we spawn and come back in and join the action again. Also, fuck it, you don't, you can't tell, I'm in VV's line, you can't tell. You see if I just call it and see what happens afterwards. Are they still young? Yeah. Off three. That's where you ran, wasn't it? Hi, that's two of them coming. <laughs> oh, there's a third guy coming as well. So what the hell is going on up here? Be a fucking murder picture in there, not like. Yeah. Find it. Here, one just went left. Oh, here. You're the hey, medic, hey, aren't you? I am. Have you got bandages? I do. I get you back in. Whoa. Uh, David, I ain't going to that fucking jeep because we're just standing here, like. Do you want to try no. Hit! Fuck. That was... I know. Dead rabbit. That is too. Look, 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 look. I think it's 90. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Imagine that being thrown on your face. See, I don't, I don't mind this as much. We're getting beat. But it's because. Ah, fuck my hand! <laughs> <laughs> we're, all, we're all dead. We're all dead. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody here. <laughs> so once again, myself and Paul now are sitting in game bleeding out. You can see the slow progress that was made at the start of the day, trying to get into the game zone. But every meter we made progress into the game zone gave us a little bit extra cover, a little bit more maneuverability, and got us that bit closer to our fob. So while Paul and myself are bleeding out, Scotty, who was our commander for the day, decided to call in an airstrike into the central compound and try and clear it out a bit better for us. 
This happened while myself and Paul were walking back to spawn, so I cut a bit of video there to sort of show you the whole procedure, and it just sounds quite cool on the, on the video as well. Go here. Here, here, listen, 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 listen. Fuck's sake, well, I'm walking in here. Do you want to unplug it, actually? I'm using it, isn't it? Here, it's unplugged. See, here now. Sounds glad, doesn't it? Nothing's happening, but it sounds fucking awesome. Yeah, it's just the fact that it's all played out like. Oh, so good, isn't it? Oh, sorry. Yeah, he will be. Alright. They should be moving in right now. I'm fucking trying to clear that. Hmm? They should be moving in and trying to clear it. We need to try and take that very, very, uh, the, not the fucking, yeah. The very, very, yes, you need to get in there. There's someone in the building. Yeah. There's two lads standing right at the far end of the building. I thing is, can you cover that corner of the bus? The back corner? Because I can't get in if I... If no one's covering it. Have we any enemies on the left here? No? no. So after a lot of intense fighting, we finally got a foothold in the Dave Barry shed. This is the long shed that runs along the bottom end of the site, and halfway down it is our fob. What really slowed down our progress was that the enemy had such a well defended position, and were very quickly able to disable our vehicles, so it kind of cut down our cover as well. However, by maintaining the pressure on the attack, this prevented them from retaking their positions, so once we got them out, we could actually try and create a, a sterile area for us to try and move into. In the window, see the door? Door? The guy in the boss, one of, one of them just dropped, he's out. He's done? The There's one on the door, I can't... Whose jeep's that? Is that their, their jeep? What? I don't know. Flank, flank round. See, we need to get into the fob, which is next. Yeah, well this guy's in the fob. Right, do we need to get in there so we can respawn there? Yeah, so do we need to... A comic respawn there? Yeah. So that's more, eh? The hostiles up in the SOB avoided. I think they're friendlies. If you want, but there's a guy in the door right. I'm on you, I'm on you. Get in, get in, get in. Keep up with this, keep up with this. Yeah, yeah, this is the Here, mate. Clear. Get clear. Marshall, I'm five metres away, yeah? No? Right, here, guy, guy, guy. Get in that corner, there's an IED just there. Get there, there's an IED there, I need to clear it. Move, just move there. Back in, back in! So at last, we finally arrived at our fob. However, we were under the impression that all our gear were being transported here by the jeeps. However, it turns out that only one of the jeeps actually survived the entire trip. So while I'm expecting this jeep to come in now and have my bag ready for me to reload, 
Nothing ever goes to plan. So the one Jeep that survived has absolutely no kit on it. And the Jeep I spotted earlier yeah, on that was stranded is actually the Jeep that has everything on it, but it's been disabled out in the middle of the game area. So we're going to have to plot a little mission here to go and try and recover all our gear. Thankfully, Paul had the foresight to carry some spare BBs on him, so I was able to get one more mag on me, so I could actually be a bit more effective. Do you have any idea where the other Jeep is? No. Huh? The second Jeep? Do you know where, do you know where it is? Oh, you have an idea. It's on the far side of that barn, isn't it? <laughs> is it making its way here, is it? Cause it's on the far side of that barn, isn't it? Yeah. It's so I've got, I've got one mag left. <laughs> I don't know what your mag looks like. It's a green... Come with me, I'll get it. Aye, I know, it's aye. Sure, just jump in. You're gonna look for the Jeep stuff? You want me to go with you? Right, okay. Yeah, if you want to ask, maybe Scott in the next bunker. He's gonna find it, we're gonna try and find it. We're looking for are we getting into the Jeep, bro? security on the Are we getting into that? Yeah, he's just taking the Jeep. Oh, I squeezed back. That's all right. I get it, I get it. Is he going to... You're going to make me squeeze across, you fucking dick. <laughs> sorry, he's, sorry, he's in, he's in. He's in. Go down, yeah? Yeah, yeah. You're going to make me squeeze across, you dick. <laughs> so apologies for this being quite a long video clip, however as I said, it was a long fight to get into your fob and I think the whole story of how we got there needed to be told and sort of showed just how much of a fight the Op4 put up to keep us out. So now that we've finally reached our fob, the first order of business is to go and get supplies, so we're going to make our way in the next episode to the Jeep that's stranded at the top end of the site get all the bags and bring them back to the base again so we can try and start making plans and start making a push for the actual game objectives. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this video. Again, sorry it's quite a long one, but again, the story has to be told, so hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, let us know, give a like and subscribe. If you don't, leave us a comment and tell us what we could do better. You always like feedback. So for now, that's all, and I hope you're looking forward to the next video. Hope you'll see it as well. So for now, cheers, bye.